work. So here I'm thinking of, we, we, we talked about uh, an increase in demand for laser eye surgery. Let's think about healthcare in general, and let's think about what would be the impact on overall health prices, thinking at a real general level here, of universal coverage, i.e. insurance coverage for, for everybody in the population. And, and, and this is kind of interesting because you have to think a little carefully in the insurance market because what happens with insurance is you get two prices essentially. Suppliers are paid one price and, and the uh, patients or the consumers uh, pay another price. And there's a divergence between those two prices. So here I'm, I'm focusing on, as I said here, the price to providers. So if you increase insurance coverage in a market then for the same price to the providers, the demand curve, and this is very similar to what we did with the laser eye surgeries, the demand curve by consumers shifts up. For the same price to providers, consumers are going to want to, are going to, going to, want to consume uh, more, more health insurance. And again, what you're going to get is an increase in quantity, which is probably good. That was our intent with expanding coverage of insurance. We wanted to get more health care consumed. You should. But, uh, I think most economists would point out, you better be prepared also for some price pressure um, and, that, and that prices on healthcare are going to go up. And I'm going to get into in a, in a, in a minute how, how much those prices go up is going to depend to a great extent on, on how much uh, the supply can actually increase as well. But that's the first real simple application of the model and, and one that I think gives, gives a lot of truth here.